Hello, I am Wander001, and this is my review of the Sundar Dual Output Voltage Current Multimeter. So it's going to do both voltage and amperage as a readout. Uh, so before we get into like the really technical specs and, and show you a little bit about this, I'm going to, as always, tell you the general uh, dimensions of this. So what you're looking at is a three inch in length with a one and a half inch width and a depth of 0.8. Now, those numbers might not mean anything to you. Uh, as always, I try and use everyday objects to give you an idea of how big an item is that you're looking at. So right here, this is a double A AA battery and we'll bring it up. Give you an idea of what that looks like width wise. And just for those who might not know AA, here is a lip balm. And depth. So I'll give you an idea of what that looks like. With your USB connection here being five inches in length from base to uh, tip. So what you're looking at here is uh, really, it's a device that's made so that you can tell the output of USB connected devices, whether that's a wall warp plug, a power brick, what have you. Uh, sometimes you need to know how much voltage or amperage you're getting out of that. There are several different makes, uh, manufacturers, this one, like I said before, is Sundar, uh, of something like this. Uh, so I decided to pick one up because, well, I do a lot of reviews and it would be helpful, I think, to a lot of people knowing the voltage and and or amperage that's coming out of a device. Uh, for you, uh, you probably would want to know some things too, but uh, before we get into what you might want to use this for, I'll uh, bring it up a little closer, give you a, a idea of what we have here. Uh, this is a dual output device. So you have uh, output one and output two. Uh, output two is supposed to have a built-in circuit for accelerated charging for larger devices, so tablets and things of that nature. Now this is not a charger uh, so much as it's a step. So you would plug this into either a wall warp or a battery backup and it will give you a readout and then you could plug a device in here and a device in here and it will charge both devices but give you the readout of what's happening. Now, I'm gonna bring this up a little closer here. Uh, it is a kind of semi-translucent uh, casing here. Doesn't pick up fingerprints at all because it's matte finish. Uh, there you got the port on the one side. Now, you can hopefully, if I put my hand here, see the circuit board in there. It's kinda at a weird angle and for me, that's a little bit concerning with this particular manufacturer. If you notice uh, where the USB port is too, it doesn't look like it's not exactly flush with the cutout in the body here. And if we flip it over to the other side, it might be a little more noticeable there. Um, but really, for what it is, I've, I've been testing it out quite a bit. And despite the circuit board being slightly off, it has performed very well and has given me accurate readings. So uh, going back to what I said you may want to use this for if you're not a person like me who does YouTube videos uh, and review stuff. Well, first off, you might have wall warts where you have completely rubbed off uh, the actual output of those uh, wall warts and not have any idea what you're looking at. So. If that were the case, here I have a selection of wall warts uh, from varying devices uh, that I've had or have used in the past. Uh, most of these I know what they are now because I've tested this out before I actually did any filming for you. But uh, we're going to use this and we're going to go down the line and show you just what you're going to be able to see and tell with this thing. So we're going to start here with the first one. Which is a little tricky to do around the camera, but there you see. It is showing you that it has an output of 4.9 volts. Now, you'll notice that it's not displaying an amperage, and that's because we don't have a device plugged into this that would be drawing power to give us an amperage. But we'll show you what that looks like a little later, because we're going to move down to the next one. And so there we go. We've got a wall worth that has 5.1 amps coming off of it. We'll just keep moving down the line. I know this doesn't make for the best 
viewing sometimes, but uh, just give you an idea. So here's another 5.1 volt output. And then we will come down to the last one and show you that's a 5.1. So the three last ones here pretty much have a, a similar output with this one being the lowest. Now, it's within a decimal of each other. So in reality, it's not that big of a deal for you, but you will know that this one has the lowest output. And perhaps with a device that requires a higher output, you wouldn't want to use this one because it'll be a slower charge. Another thing that you would want to use this for is, and I'm sure we've all been there, is you have a cable. And you're not sure if it's the cable, the wall wart, or your device that is causing the problem charging your device. So what you would do is we will just steal the uh, one on the very end here. We'll plug into that and I will plug this cable, this is a flat style cable, into a device. Uh, in this case I will be plugging into my Moto X. And here now that I have it plugged into the Moto X we can see that it's showing an amperage draw. So I can tell this particular cable has a voltage output when plugged into a vise of 4.98 and the amperage is like 1.2 amps coming out. Now, if I replace this cable with a different cable, you'll notice that it's rounded as opposed to flat. I'm getting about the same output that I was with the other one and that's perfectly fine. I know that these two cables should be for this type of output. I don't expect more from them. Uh, even though the Moto X does uh, support quick charge, uh, I know that I'm not going to get that type of voltage or amperage out of this cable. But if I switch it around to the bottom here, you could see a slightly higher output, mainly because this lower one is supposed to be for like larger devices, tablets of that thing, and in this case, kind of support the quick charge. But if we change the cable out one more time, this is a different cable and I know that this cable is bad primarily, well, because one, a cat decided to chew on it, but for a while we weren't sure if it was a wall wart or if it was the cable itself. So you can see as I kind of move the cable around, the actual output is jumping quite a bit. So the amperage keeps changing and nothing is happening on the phone itself. Now, right there, you just saw it kind of zeroed out. So it's not actually charging at that zero point. So here we go, now it's bouncing around again. So I can tell now that this is a bad cable and I don't have to wonder, was it the wall war? Was it the phone? No, I know it's the cable and I did all that because I had this little device. So really, I mean, even if you don't do reviews or, or anything similar to that. This is kind of a tool that you keep in your drawer just for that one time that you need to know, is, a bad, is it a bad cable, is it a bad wall wart? This particular multimeter was about $10 on Amazon. They generally run about that much. I'll put all the technical specifications down in the comments because I just didn't want to ramble them off in the video. Uh, you know, maximum voltage supply, maximum output reads, all that I'll put down in the comments just so you can read it there. I figured it would be more pressing for you to actually see what you could use this for if you weren't looking at this, knowing what it is and what you would use it for. Uh, so I have been Wander001. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the area below. And as always, thanks for watching.